Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to join in through this 14 day equity challenge. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed this opportunity of a shared learning experience um, of action and growth. Our goal was to develop a deeper understanding of how inequity and racism affect our lives and our community. And although this was a self-guided learning journey, I hope that you have had some meaningful experiences that have expanded your understanding and helped to launch what we hope will be a lifelong commitment to improving equity and inclusion. As I said, the many times that we've got on so far, that this is not just a challenge, but it was a starting point. And I hope that each of you will continue to make an impact. As we wrap things up, please feel free to leave questions or comments in the chat, and we will be sure to follow up with you. As in closing, I have some reflection questions here. And these are things that we just want to think about. So you can raise your hand, put a thumbs up, um, put out an emoji. But I hope that you have um, in these final reflections, think about how you have shifted your thinking away from a focus on sameness and treating everyone identically to focusing on treating everyone appropriately and accommodating their differences. Hopefully you have identified some inequities and systemic and structural racism in your community and you've maybe taken notice to something that you may not have been aware of before. And also, as we continue, even past this challenge, continue to think about maybe two to three shifts or changes or actions that you can take to create a more inclusive and equitable environment in your home, in your workplace, and your community. So take those reflection questions with you now, if there are one or two people who are on this call who would not mind sharing with the group, maybe something meaningful that you've got out of the equity challenge experience, or maybe a conversation that you've had, um, now would be a time to do that. Um, you can unmute and share. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, maybe type something in the comments, um, but we would love to hear from you. I, um, a, a couple, uh, the last Zoom meeting we had, and there was a, a panel of, of three great people. I, you know, the thing that I heard is there's a lot of conversations and these roundtables are great, but what's the action that we're going to do? And I think, um, you know, I think that action just isn't in the work environment, but it's also in your, your everyday life. It's, it's what the action. Um, and I also loved that, um, you know, after that meeting, taking a look at the the definition, I, I had to look up like what, what's upstanding? I don't, I don't know what upstanding is and I don't want to ask the question right now, but I'm going to go look it up. And the difference between being a bystander and an upstander, um, like that kind of hit home for me is how many times do you step back and just let things happen and you don't, you don't step up. So um, I think that's the one thing that I, I will definitely take from at least the Zoom meeting portions of these. Um, you know, watching the videos, you know, sometimes I'm more of a visual per person. So watching the videos was, was really impactful for me, especially the one where it really talked about like the difference in home buying, right. And, and the purchase price and the, the value of a home or the $700 difference in, in the cost of an automobile. Um, you don't think about those things in your everyday life. When you go to purchase a car, you just think, think about the price that you're getting and not the price that ever everyone else is getting. But even that, that one converse or that one video, you know, there's been a story in the last few days, how someone had altered their home and had someone else stand in for them. And there was a difference of like $150,000 in the value that was put on their home. Um, th those things just kind of, kind of blow my mind and don't, and, and that's not something that I would think of on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. So 
it's interesting and in, in how many of the, the things that we've talked about in the last 14 days and read about and how when you flip through the news, you'll see those real life examples of, of, of those things happening. So I know those are just a couple pieces that have really kind of hit home for me in the last, the last 14 days. Right. And, and sorry to call you out, but I really thank you for, for giving your feedback because that's so true. It's sometimes just a little shift or a change in how we look at things or how we, uh, our language that we use or, or how we reflect on things or if we are paying attention to what's going on in the news around us. Um, I, I saw that story as well. And I'm like, wow, you don't even think about those things. So thank you for sharing that. Um, and if, is there anyone else who wanted to add anything? Awesome. Um, Want to share with you some next steps um, upcoming. Looking ahead, there's on June the 7th upcoming racial healing circle. And you also will receive the equity challenge feedback survey, survey to your email. So you can continue to please share your thoughts through that. Um, just take a moment to take a look at this video that will share a little bit of information about the healing circle. The NFJC crowd to coordinate healing circles for the Western New York region. These circles, currently designed and delivered virtually, discuss difficult issues in both large and small group settings. The topics generally surround current issues regarding race and race relations and its impact locally and throughout the country. A trained facilitator will introduce the circles and the dynamics and then lead groups using smaller breakout rooms to foster deeper conversations. We try to create spaces that are safe space for these dialogues what we like to describe as brave spaces. The goal of the sessions is to help uncover and recognize our own inner misunderstandings and misconceptions, weaknesses and strengths, to take our own personal journey. Participants are encouraged to share as much or as little as they would like. The circles are not a solution, just a step on the path forward to bridging divides and opening dialogue. Call the NFJC today to learn more. So that next racial healing circle again is going to be Monday, June 7th, 6 to 8 via Zoom, uh, Zoom and a link will be sent in email if you are interested in participating in that. So congratulations. Um, you, you all are a great group. Thank you so much um, for your participation and even just taking a few minutes to wrap things up with us today. Uh, again, in closing, we are so very thankful to you for taking this journey with us. Um, I wanna give a special thanks uh, to all of you participants in our challenge, uh, to the Cincinnati Y for assisting us with planning, to our diversity, equity, and global committee members, to all of our Y members, our staff, our board, and certainly our CEO, John Airbar, Our three panelists who extended their expertise and experience, their perspective to help make the challenge a little bit more successful for us, and to our partners and supporters, anyone who has helped us with the partic participating, their encouragement, their support throughout the challenge. So, Next steps will be to look out for our next challenge in the fall with the Cincinnati Y. And also to make sure that you answer the questions on the survey that will be coming out to you, uh, the post survey through your email. So now that you've taken the steps towards change, I continue to challenge you and I hope that you challenge yourself on this equity journey uh, to participate in any opportunities to give, to advocate, and to volunteer um, when it comes to making the impact, again, in your home, in your workplace, and in our community. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to us. I hope you also will still engage in the Facebook community um, that you've joined and you, you know, you feel free to share videos or things that you have seen or comments that you 
uh, suggest and that we can keep this synergy going as we move forward in our day-to-day -day lives. Have a great afternoon. Thank you for your time.